Hi everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make a classic chocolate mousse. This is decadent, airy, and intensely chocolatey. This is absolutely a romantic and special occasion dessert. You will need three mixing bowls for this recipe. In the first heat-proof bowl, combine six ounces of bittersweet chocolate, six ounces of unsalted butter, and a quarter cup of strong coffee. Or you can use espresso. Now heat a medium saucepan with about two inches of simmering hot water. Place your mixing bowl with the chocolate over the saucepan of simmering water so the bowl is just over the steam and not touching the water. Stir that together until the chocolate is melted and completely smooth, then take it off the heat. I have separated four large eggs, and in the second mixing bowl, combine four egg yolks with half a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk that to combine, then place the bowl over the saucepan of boiling water and whisk until it's thickened, hot to the touch, and lightened in color. Dip a spoon into the mixture and run your finger across it. You'll know it's ready if it does not ooze. Take that off the heat and stir the chocolate mixture into the egg yolk mixture. Continue mixing until it's well blended. In the third mixing bowl, add four egg whites and beat just until foamy. Then gradually add one tablespoon of sugar and continue beating until medium peaks form. Fold the egg whites into the chocolate batter one third at a time, folding to incorporate between each addition. Once all of the egg whites are in, fold just until the mousse is smooth and even in color. Divide the chocolate mousse mixture between eight four ounce ramekins. Then cover and refrigerate for at least two hours or ideally overnight. And you can make this chocolate mousse two to three days in advance, so this is a make ahead dessert. Once your chocolate mousse is chilled and you're ready to serve, make the whipped cream. In a medium mixing bowl, beat together one cup of heavy whipping cream with a tablespoon of sugar and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract just until medium peaks form. <laughs> All right, these are well chilled. They are set and all we have left to do is put on the topping and enjoy them. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna start out with that whipped cream. Ooh hoo hoo. And these are beat to medium peaks because you want that soft set look on top of the chocolate mousse. Mm, okay, here we go. And a big old generous dollop on top of each one. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. All right. And I love adding some fresh raspberries because chocolate and raspberries to me is like... <laughs> it works, okay? Let's just put it that way. So we'll put two on each one. And raspberries are also very sweet for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> or a date night in. Okay, and that's not all. Next, we are gonna add some freshly shaved chocolate because we need a little more chocolate. <laughs> all right. So, and like this is the easiest way to get chocolate curls is just a hunk of chocolate and a potato peeler. Just watch the magic. All right. Let's do this taste test because I cannot wait any longer. I was very patient while these were in the fridge. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, and then with every bite, you wanna get 
some of the cream and some of the mousse because the cream actually balances the mousse really well. Look at that mousse. It is so whipped and fluffy. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> this just made my day. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is intensely chocolatey. And it's whipped and velvety smooth at the same time. And that little bit of coffee really amps up the chocolate flavor. Wow. This is as classic and as good as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> Make this and you will get rave reviews at your next party. This is easy, excellent, and highly addictive. <laughs> You've been warned. If you guys like this video, give us a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Hey, before you go, if you're looking for more ideas to satisfy your sweet tooth, check out some of our all-time favorites right over there and right down there and click below to subscribe. And when you do, make sure you click that little bell icon and you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you next time.